last two weekends, hmm. I've got up on the Saturday morning, done yeah. my blog, and then that's been it. I've gone back to bed, splitting headache, ibuprofen four at a time, bag of frozen peas. That's me for the day. Get yeah. up, get up the next day. Well, if we talk about not last weekend, the one before, get up the next day. Eventually, about noon, mm. um, go out and not good. And then this last weekend, uh, Saturday, I I woke up, did my blog, mm-hmm. lunchtime, back to bed. That was it for the day. So looking forward to the semi final of the Rugby World Cup, New Zealand versus South Africa. Didn't see a thing. Julia You're had kidding. To watch it on her own. But that's not like you at all, because you've been really excited about it. And you never get ill. No. Well, it's happening last two weekends running. So what is it? Well, I'm pretty sure I'm a caffeine fiend. Oh, okay. Have you given up coffee? No. Oh. I I cut it down. And you mm. know, I used to drink a lot of coffee. Yeah. And Coca-Cola. We, we used to have like nine cups in the morning. Was it that many? Yeah, it was bad. Okay. <laughs> Well, I started drinking decaf in the studio. You know, my stash in the studio of coffee. I cha- changed that to decaf. Yeah. And so I uh, cut that down. So I was having one real cup to start the day, mm-hmm. which helped with my 6 a.m. rant. <laughs> <laughs> and then decaf the rest of the day. But on the weekends, not having anything. And it's oh, the so weekends. you've gone cold turkey with well, the coffee. Well, not really, because I was having one a day. Yeah, but Every do you day. remember when we did this and we, we cut down a coffee for the breakfast show and you got the shakes? Did I? Yeah, you were really poorly. Well, I have given up uh, smoking. I have given up alcohol, but nothing is as tough as this. This is brutal. What are you going to do? Well, today I had nothing at all. <gasps> and how are you feeling? Fine. Oh, you haven't got a headache? No. Well, then it's not the caffeine, is it? Well, yes, it is, because I'm off it now. I went to see what happened was weekend before last. I got off it. I went through the withdrawal, got off it, but went back on. And then, of course, the next weekend, I get it again. So as long as I don't go back on, I'm fine. You fell off the wagon with the coffee. I think I did. (laughs) I think I did. Okay. So So now you need to stay off it. So I can't have it. No, not at all now. Everything decaf. But that's still Unleaded. caffeine. No, it's not. It There's does a have clue a little in the bit. name. It's not completely decaf, though, is it? Because coffee has caffeine in it. So if you've got yeah, coffee, it's going to have a bit of caffeine. Not decaf. Decaf does not have co- a caffeine. What do they in do? It. Take out the caffeine I don't then? Know what they do? But I don't know how they make real coffee other than <laughs> grow beans, grind okay. them up. So you've had a week of no coffee at all? No, and no I've co- had a day of no coffee. I've had this is day three. Day three, if it's Saturday, Sunday, today, Monday. Today is Monday when we're recording. That's no coffee. So well, if they I... say they hmm? say it takes three days for it to leave your system. Well, there you go. So technically, if you're going to be ill, you'll have a ha- you'll have a hangover. You'll have a headache tomorrow. It is like a hangover, but worse. Oh, what are you drinking now then? Decaf. Oh, okay, okay. We even have decaf tea in the house. I don't drink Coca Cola. I'm drinking Vimto. I'm decaffeinated. What Vimto doesn't have caffeine in it? You'll be surprised at the stuff that has caffeine. You know Red Bull has caffeine in it? But yeah, I'm not surprised that has it. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll have to check the label. I'm pretty sure. Do you mean to tell me you actually like coffee? Because I don't like coffee. I just drink it to keep me awake. <laughs> no, I like it. Oh, okay. I like it. No, I do. I like it. So I have the decaf one. I it's can't a... believe you missed the rugby over a headache. Yes. yes. Missed it. Julie was going to well, order pizza and everything. Oh, she was watching it, wasn't she? Yeah, she watched it. Yeah, so she... was she giving you the updates? No, she, I was I was out. What, I mean, what, I was like... sl- sleeping as well and, to yeah, like sleeping 20 hours straight and real bad. No, real well, bad. Well, maybe this isn't the caffeine then. It is. And, and you know when I went to Spain on the Spain trip? Yeah. And when I got there, I was sick? Yes. I woke up in the morning and had a decaf because I've been gradually going to decaf in the home anyway so mm-hmm. I, that morning that we flew i had a decaf we got to the airport it was really busy i couldn't get a cup of coffee i think i did i had a pepsi on the plane but that was it by about six o'clock that night i'm finished really you had another sick. headache i was going at both ends and headache and everything i had everything on that trip 
It's got to be the caffeine. But it's weird that it's just a Saturday. No, it's like every because Saturday. Because every day happens. I'm having one cup of coffee, mm. and then on Saturday I'm having none. Bang! There you go. Well, then just keep drinking it with just keep drinking the caffeine, and you'll be fine. No, because it creeps up on you. You don't know when you've not had it. Like I hadn't realised I hadn't had enough. I can't be having this all the time. I think, have I had caffeine today? <laughs> you need your caffeine fix. Yeah, because it doesn't. I don't notice that it affects me. Mm. So I don't know. It's like if you're an alcoholic, you would know you haven't had a drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you don't necessarily know you haven't had a cup of coffee that day. But you've got to know. Well, I'm not having that, so I'm cutting out altogether. I'm decaffeinating. Okay. Yes. Oh, it was working okay for you. Three days in. Mm-hmm. Three days in. My name wonder is Graham can... and I'm a caffeine addict. <laughs> this is my story. I wonder if you can get caffeine patches. I don't want the caffeine. Well, I feel like you need it. On. If only one cup was putting me back on, I've got to stay off the thing completely. Well, good luck. Oh, mm. I don't miss the, the real... I can't tell the difference when I drink the decaffeinated. I can't tell the difference. Are you a bit more tired? No. Because like nine cups from the morning, nine cups... Down to one. Up, to, Down to one. To one. Yeah. And then nothing. And I thought the one, I'm off. I'm done. No. Mm. When you go from one to nothing, bang. bang. Well, it's a big stop, isn't it? It's like yeah. a complete shock to the system. Yes, shock well, to the system. I've uh, worked out that there's... Oh, well, I know exactly what is the cause of obesity. And the government and scientists, they've all got it wrong. It's caused by an overactive fork. It's not. What's it caused by? Relationships. Mm-hmm. Have the you... second oh, okay. you're in a relationship... Uh, okay, yes. ...you put on weight. Yeah, uh, Part of this could be that you do tend to be going out for meals more yes, yeah. than when you're a singleton. Because mm-hmm. let's face it, you haven't got as much reason. Shall I go out tonight? Table for one? No. How yeah. sad is that? Mm-hmm. So part of that is going to be that. And part of it is going to be, well, I found my fella now. <laughs> I don't have to stay in shape forever. I, You know, there's a certain amount of advertising going on mm-hmm. when when you are available. Yeah. And when you're unavailable, well, it's kind of pointless now. So, how ah, the hell with it. Yes, bring the, the, the... No, on second thoughts, bring the dessert <laughs> trolley back. I will have a look. It's, mm. it's difficult. It's mm. difficult. To, so now I'm going to have to do some exercise or something. Well, exercise is the worst thing you can do if you want to lose weight. Really? Yeah, because that removes the guilt. The, well, thing, <laughs> the, thing, the thing that keeps you slim is guilt. Mm-hmm. If you exercise, you go, oh, yeah, I can have another slice. I went to the gym today. <laughs> People who go to the gym, they don't really want to exercise. No, no. I, when They're I trying used to, to remove the gym. guilt. I used to go just to watch EastEnders. There you go. And then I'd do my half an hour and that was it. I didn't even enjoy... the door as you can. Like <laughs> yes. Else. I didn't even enjoy the gym. It's the worst thing ever. Were you it's a not, member? Not... That's the bit I don't get. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah it's just a massive con, isn't it? They yeah. take your money and then... I they became... take your guilt. Here, yeah. we'll take your guilt. There you go. Now, away you go and eat. <laughs> <laughs> I should I should run one. I wouldn't need any gym equipment. No, I yeah. I tell you, if I did and I did have gym equipment, I'd have it all hooked up to a generator. Really? Why waste all that energy? That's such a People good idea. People on a treadmill and things. The energy that's just being wasted... I would have it, you know, working the electricity and, and everything in there and the TVs and stuff. What a way I, I would hook the people up. Yes. Yeah. So um, the other thing that happened, you know, I told you about the roast on Sunday. You went to a roast. Now, did Marine Boy go? Yes. And little Archie, his son. Oh, this was quite the family gathering. It was nice. It was my mum, my dad, my brother, yes. me, Mark and Archie. Uh-huh. Me, Marine Boy, and Archie. Were there was so, the were there were any dramas? Did he put his foot in it, say the wrong thing, make the wrong remark? Fraught with danger. It is. I was more worried about Mum actually than I was him. <laughs> <laughs> but no, they they all did very well. Archie yeah. was amazing. He was really good. Mum had bought him some toys, mm-hmm. so just to kind of like ease him into the house. Mm. But um, she phoned me in a complete panic because lunch was set for one o'clock. And she forgot that the clocks went back. So she made lunch ready for half past 11. Yeah. No one was there. No. So she phoned so me. She had to keep it saying, warm for an hour. Yeah. She said, where are you all? It's half past 12. Well, lunch is at one. 
We said, what are you talking about? She said, yeah, it's ready. It's just, I'm just about to serve. I said, mum, it's half past 11. The clocks have gone back. She completely forgot, bless her. But this isn't the first time she's done this. Oh, really? So growing up, it was quite a regular occurrence. So quite often at four o'clock in the morning, we would be getting up, we'd be dressed, ready for school, having our breakfast. She'd be getting us in the car to drop us off to school. It's still dark outside. There's no one there. Mum got the clock change wrong. (laughs) You have to, though, ask the question. Mm -hmm. In the same way as I always ask the... We're asking the wrong question. So you're asking the question, why did I forget to change the clocks? Or why did your mother forget to change the clocks? Yeah. You need to change the question. It's like when you go to a set of double doors and you push the wrong door and you ask yourself the question, why do I always push the wrong door? The question in that situation should be, why is one of the doors locked? An architect has designed this portal, this size, with this many doors, for a reason. But some caretaker or jobs worth has decided, I'm going to shut one of these and mess with people. I'm just going to mess with them. Because Mm -hmm. there's no other reason why, when you get to a set of double doors, why only one should be open. There's no advantage to only having one open. No. None at all. If it's a carpeted area, it means that the carpet will wear out quicker because the the load isn't spread. Everybody goes down the one side. Mm. There is no logic whatsoever with one double door being closed. But pretty much every set of double doors in the world, one is closed. (laughs) It's true. But there's no reason for it. There's no reason. No reason for it. No, there's no reason. Often there are a set of double doors. It's an airlock, so it wouldn't make any odds. Hmm. There is there is no reason for it. But somebody sees a set of double doors, and because I think because they're used to double doors, always one being closed. Oh, I better close one of them because there's always one closed. They haven't asked the question. It's like the monkeys and the banana and the water, which I'll get to. In a, no, I'll get to the monkeys and the banana and the water now before hmm. I get to the clocks because it's the same problem. Have you heard about this thing with the banana and the monkeys and the and the water? No, what's this? The six monkeys in a cage. Mm-hmm. And they put a banana hanging on a hook on the wall. Yeah. And when one of the monkeys goes to get the banana, it squirts freezing cold water at him. And he goes, ah, freaks out and runs off. Right. So after a while, so none of the other monkeys go near the banana. They've seen what happens. Mm-hmm. After a while, they remove one of the monkeys mm. and bring in another and replace him with another monkey. And of course, this monkey, he goes for the banana. He doesn't know what goes on. And all of the other monkeys start shouting at him and screaming and he stays away from the banana. Yeah. So eventually they replace another monkey and they keep going until eventually they've replaced all of the monkeys and all of the monkeys in the cage. None of them have actually seen the water. (laughs) But when a new monkey comes in and goes for the banana, they all scream at him, don't go near the banana. But they don't know why. Okay. That's what's going on with your double doors, why there's always one closed. Because it's, well, it's going to be, co- why? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's what's going on there. It's exactly what's going on with the clocks. Nobody can give you an actual reason why we change the clocks, but we've done it for so long now, it just goes on now. People have stopped questioning it. Sometimes they'll, they'll say the farmers, you ask any farmer, it annoys the farmers. Does it? Yes. I thought it was for the farmers. It's, it's not for the farmers. Find me a farmer could... who... I've done it on the air many times. Get a farmer, ring me up now, tell me why we change the clocks. They don't want to do it because the animals get confused. Feeding times and milking times and all this all get messed up. The animals don't change their clocks. It's it's not for the farmers. It's Sorry, can I just hold you there? Is that your phone? Yeah, I'm just hung up. Do you need to get it? No, I've hung up. I don't know who it is. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yes. It's not for the farmers. See, that's the other thing. When a phone rings, people answer it. I go, no. <laughs> Straight away while I was talking. Yeah, that's, that's what a phone's for, to no, be no, answered. Obviously, somebody needs you. No, they don't. Nobody needs me. Trust me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Nobody needs this. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, so it's not so, for the farmers. Well, Turkey have, have taken, t- taken it to another level and yes. they've decided to not change the clocks back. Well, I'm with Turkey. There is n- the, 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 everything gets messed up with this stupid clocks thing. It's yeah, but they've confused everybody now and they don't know what time it is. They don't know whether it's morning or night or an hour forward or an it's hour only back. an hour. Yeah, that's enough. I see now, I don't think it is just an hour. Right. I think over the years, they keep doing this. They keep changing things, changing the clocks forward, changing the clocks back. Last year, I think we lost a second or we gained a second. Those seconds add up. That's different. And then. And then before you know it, the seasons are all confused and Mm. you've got January and December and Mm. and March and September. the The thing is, in 
the spring, you lose yeah. an hour. Yes. And in the autumn, you get the hour back. So you kind of, you know, you're in debt by one. If you die in the summer, then you never get the hour back. <laughs> no. But providing you live long enough to get through till you'll get the back, you'll get it back. I still think they've got it confused. Mm. Somebody, mm. there must be one one person on the earth that made the decision to change the clocks. Yeah. Who? I don't know. Let's find I think them. It's a stupid idea. <laughs> it's a stupid, it's so it's a stupid idea. It makes no sense. No. It's like, why do we want it really light in the summer at night? The days are longer. It, it goes darker later in the summer anyway. Why do we want to make it even later? We want to go to sleep. Yeah. I think it's wrong. It is wrong. It is wrong. So, okay, on that note, yes. <laughs> thanks very much. Thank you. All right, so we'll chat next week. We'll chat next week. And um, I think I'll go and get my hair cut now. Oh, okay. Well, have a good week. And that's important because I have to get my hair cut done just after we've recorded Graham McEnany Stevenson talk on Skype. Why? So it's got the maximum amount of time till next week. See, so even if I <laughs> wait a day, it'll the day because it, I don't want, you know, for continuity. <laughs> I've, got, I've, got, I've got to make sure it grows I, on time. I almost need to say, can you cut it by about a week? <laughs> so Do you have it cut time, weekly? No. No, I think it's about six weeks. But oh, okay. really, it will look really short next week. But if I have it done, if I have it done like at the weekend, but if I have it done today, like right now, if I go in right now and get it done, yeah, then it'll be closer to right. So I don't think it needs cutting. It does need cutting. No, you know, like that whole longer on the top, longer at the top, shorter at the sides. It needs cutting. Look, it's too, look, look, see, look at that. It's, 